see you there. You've uh, caught me in the middle of my nightly squid salutation, but never mind, never mind, no matter. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Scott R. Jones. I'm the author of the book, When the Stars Are Right Towards an Authentic Relayan Spirituality, as well as the editor for the annual Martian Migraine Press Anthologies. Now, in case you don't know, Martian Migraine is a bit of a boutique operation. We have a carefully curated selection of titles, all focusing on the weird and transgressive, uh, bespoke anthologies, if you will. Uh, in 2014, we brought you Conqueror Womb, Lusty Tales of Shub Niggurath, and as the title implies, uh, it's a bit of a not-safe-for-work volume. In fact, not safe for most places. Most places. Moist places? Perhaps your moist places? But I digress. Suffice to say, it's uh, not a title that uh, you'd want to be caught reading on the bus, which is why we released it as an electronic book. So if you're at all perverted and have a Kindle, uh, I do suggest checking that out. Uh, in 2015, however, last year, we decided to take a different tack in stimulating the reading public, and we went back to the lab uh, to work on your pineal glands uh, with this fantastic book, Resonator. New Lovecraftian Tales from Beyond. You can see the fantastic cover artwork there uh, by Nick Gucker, who we were very pleased to work with. And of course, within, between these covers, uh, some of the best authors working in weird fiction today. We have uh, stories by Edward Morris, uh, Christopher Slatsky, uh, Scott Nicolay uh, contributed a story, Lindsay Holder's in here, Anya Martin, uh, Lehman Kessler, Ask Lovecraft himself, uh, not just a fine thespian, also a pretty good writer and we hope to see more from him in the future. Uh, but of course, this is the past. This book is done. It is available for purchase. What I want to talk to you about tonight, uh, since you're here, is the 2016 Martian Migraine Press anthology, Cthulhu Sattva, Tales of the Black Gnosis. Now, uh, the uh, original idea for, uh, for this anthology came as I was writing uh, When the Stars Are Right, towards an authentic relay in spirituality, which is, of course, an examination of Lovecraft's mythos uh, through a, a spiritual sort of self-help lens. Basically, I was, I was struck by the fact that most Lovecraftian protagonists, uh, those written by Lovecraft, those written by those in his circle, uh, tend to be uh, a little ineffectual in the world. Uh, they tend to be uh, scholarly men, first world men, fairly conservative in their views, so that when they come up against uh, elements of the mythos, the various great old ones, uh, their servitor races, uh, just general weird knowledge, uh, they tend to have a very dualistic reaction. It's either death or madness. It's either a crippling insanity or suicide. These are the options that they think of, uh, you know, uh, broad thinkers that they are. Uh, I was interested in seeing uh, the other side of that equation. I wanted to see the, the mad monks, uh, the, uh, the wise witches, the savvy sorcerers who, when coming up against, again, mythos elements, uh, did not uh, go entirely mad. Uh, or maybe they did. But they also got wise. And that's, uh, that's something that I wanted to see. Uh, the, when I put out the call for the anthology, I received uh, close to 400 stories uh, it was quite the job whittling it down to uh, stories that really got the theme of the Black Gnosis of, uh, of the Cthulhu Sattva. And uh, I think we've done it. I'm very pleased uh, to announce the table of contents for Cthulhu Sattva. We have uh, stories by Jaya Prakash Satyamurthy. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, opening poem, a new poem, from Lao American poet Brian Tawara. We have the feature novella, which I'm very happy and uh, pleased to, uh, to uh, announce, is The Litany of Earth, 
by Rufana Emrys, which uh, originally appeared on uh, Tor.com, uh, and it will be appearing in Cthulhu Safa for the first time in print. There are uh, established authors in this anthology. There are a lot of new authors, uh, which I'm very, uh, I'm just pleased as punch to be able to uh, introduce uh, you to them uh, for the first time. Uh, so here, without further ado, uh, the table of contents for Cthulhu Safa, Tales of the Black Gnosis. for Cthulhu Sattva, Tales of the Black Gnosis, which will be dropping officially on May 23rd of this year. Uh, it will be available for pre-order very soon. I encourage you to uh, go to the website, www.martianmigrainepress.com. Uh, as well, follow us on Twitter at Martian Migraine, and we have a Facebook page as well, Martian Migraine Press, where we'll be announcing uh, various contests and prizes and uh, interviews with the authors in the uh, time coming up to uh, the release date, which, as I mentioned, is May 23rd. We hope you really enjoy Cthulhu Safa, Tales of the Black Gnosis. Thanks very much for dropping by. I'm going to get back to my squid salutation. Have a great day. Yeah.